Hey, good morning. Happy Memorial Day. Actually, tomorrow you're going to see this. So, I'm recording today. I'm going up to uh, the coal mine today. I got a couple tours I got to do up there. And I figured as I'm driving up, I'll do a quick good morning video. I hope you, all you guys have a great day today. And by all means, remember what today's all about. It's not about the barbecues and and the mattress sales. <laughs> it's about the people that gave all and the people that gave some, if you know what I mean. So keep them in your thoughts and prayers and fly your flag proudly. I do every day, but if you guys don't do every day, at least fly it today, you know, in honor of Memorial Day. Uh, gas right now over here in Tower City is still at $4.79.9. Thank you, Joe Biden. Ah. <laughs> anyway, as I said, I'm going up here to uh, the coal mine. I got a couple tours I have, I'm scheduled to do today. And uh, it'll probably, probably be a a somewhat busy day because it's gorgeous out here right now. I think we're going to get up into the mid 70s and the humidity's going to be low, so it'll be a nice day, you know. Yesterday, I went over to a, a friend of mine's house. Uh, I had a problem with my Subi here. And uh, he put it in his garage and he's got a lift in his garage. This garage he has at his house is just amazing. Hold it into his garage and it's got a lift in there and lifted right up. The problem I was having was just out of the blue all of a sudden I started getting water on the uh, passenger side, front passenger side on the floor. And uh, luckily I was able to uh, talk to him and he said, hey, bring it down. I know exactly what it is. I said, okay. So I took it down there, he put it on the lift, and he showed me underneath the Subaru, you know, in the front there, there's a little hose, which that's supposed to be the drainage hose if you have your air conditioner going, you know, to drain the, the moisture and the water, all right? Well, I wasn't even thinking about that. It, I didn't have any spots on the, on the concrete or anything when I was idling. Uh, no water was dripping. You know, I didn't even think that way. So anyway, he put it up on the lift, and he got a, a, a special tool that actually he made. He hooked it up to his air compressor, a real skinny tube, um, <clears throat> and stuck it up in this hose and gave it a shot. And it released the little bit of mud or whatever muck might have been stuck inside that little hose. And when he did that, about a second later, comes all this water. And he says, go ahead, put your hand under there. Feel the water. And it was ice cold. So that's what it was. So uh, I'm thinking uh, my problem is over, you know? What are you guys doing today? Or should I say, what did you guys do yesterday? Since you're not going to see this until tomorrow. Carol's at the house. She's still loading stuff up. We're one day closer to Florida, you know? We got boxes and boxes and boxes. Considering I'm not taking any furniture down, <laughs> we got boxes of stuff, you know? Got some dishes, got some clothing. Got rid of a lot of clothing, took it to the Goodwill. Got rid of my winter boots. <laughs> I'm gonna give my neighbor, or maybe even the, the new uh, uh, couple that's buying the house, maybe I'll leave the snow shovels there with them, you know? My neighbor next door to me, I asked uh, them if they would like my uh, lawnmower, and they said, yeah, we'll buy it from you. So I think I'm gonna sell them my lawnmower. Uh, and my son-in-law still hasn't asked or said to me, yeah, I will take that Weber kettle charcoal grill. I'm hoping I got room 
in in the the moving van. You know, when they come up and they load everything up, I'm hoping they're gonna have room in there to put my Weber kettle charcoal grill in there, so I can take it down to Florida. But if not, and if uh, my son-in-law doesn't want it, I might uh, just talk to my neighbor next door, or maybe even the new homeowners and say, hey, would you like the grill, you know? I'm hoping that's my last resort, but. And then I got my jukebox. I got a lot of uh, uh, window shoppers, you know, about the jukebox, but nobody serious uh, taking a ride over here into Tower City to look at it, you know? They ask a hundred questions on a, a Facebook marketplace about it, but you know, it never transitions into, all right, I'll set up a time and I'll come and look at it, you know? But that's about it for right now. I'm starting to get a little excited, you know? I was out back today looking at my backyard, and you know, I'm gonna miss my little black backyard. I'm gonna miss my uh, my uh, flower garden, my uh, bird feeder. I'm gonna take my um, hummingbird feeders with me. I'm hoping there are hummingbirds in Florida. I don't know yet, <laughs> but and then once I get down to Florida, after everything settled down and settled in real nice. I want to look for a used golf car for uh, myself and Taylor, Lady T. I think she'll look good sitting on the front seat. I told Carol, I said, you know, that front seat's going to be for Lady T. You're going to have to take that back seat. And of course, Carol said, she's not going to like that front seat. She likes to sit in the back. I don't think so. I think once I get her up front and she's sitting there real nice, and getting the breeze of air going around her. You know, she'll be digging it. <laughs> and then my second agenda while I'm down there, I'd like to find a, a used pontoon boat if I can, since there's marina right in uh, my neighborhood, if you want to call it that. And then the third thing is, I gotta get me a Class C motorhome, because, uh, I'm going to be going to this rally. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. Uh, next year, of course, but, you know, I, I want to get the motor home earlier this way. So, you know, if there's any hiccups on it, I can take care of the hiccups. So it's road-worthy road to go to this uh, rally that I've been uh, invited to, you know, in this uh, motor home group. So it'll be, or I shouldn't say motor home. Uh, this camping group, you know, and of course, uh, they reached out to me and said, could you bring your DJ equipment? If I got a motorhome, I'll be bringing my DJ equipment. So. All right, folks, not a good picture right now. I got like uh, sunlight coming in, but again, I hope you guys had a great day yesterday, Memorial Day, you know, say a prayer to our fallen soldiers you know and uh, love your family your neighbors because we're not guaranteed tomorrow don't forget that say a prayer for peace on earth and thank your God for another day on earth all right guys God bless you I'll talk to you later on if you like my video do me a favor hit the like button share it with your friends and family and if you haven't done so yet subscribe to my channel if you wouldn't mind okay comments are always welcome and you can follow me on facebook if you want to god bless you take care keep on smiling and don't forget to take the time to smell the coffee cheers we'll see you now god bless on three you're going out one two peace